In this topic, we are discussing on the requirements of ISO 14001. All the clauses and subclauses of ISO 14001 standard is discussed with the slides as well as explanation and few examples based on our experience is also given in this presentation. So in this session, I am going to discuss with you environment policy, planning, implementation and operations, the next close on the checking and corrective action and the last one on the management review. Now friends, we are talking for requirements 4.3.3 on objectives, targets and program. You have to set the objectives and targets for your organization. Once you have established for your organization from that, you have to make the departmental level targets and objectives and from that for the functional level. Second thing is quantify these objectives wherever practicable. And it should be input output oriented. There is a short form for objectives and target is a smart. Remember smart. What is the meaning of smart? Your objectives target should be specific. Meaning to it, if you are saying that I will be releasing the effluent by this level, so you should that level should be clear per ton of your production, per uh, per hour of your production, or whatever. Then measurable. You must measure these objectives. Third thing is it should be attainable. Fourth, realistic. We are living in the real world. So you should not make something imaginary. But what is your realistic objectives? And last one is track, trackable or time bound. Means you should track your performance as well as within how much time you are going to achieve these objectives. This should be in line with your long-term health, safety, environment strategy plan. Many organizations nowadays are linking these functional objectives with the personal performance criteria and that's how their increment as well as promotions are linked. So you may also think to link these objectives and targets of the departments with the personal performance criteria. Now you might have the question in your mind, what is my input for the objectives? So friends, the inputs to your objectives is your environmental policy, your continual improvement commitment, then third thing is your previous one for pollution commitment, fourth one is your initial review results, meaning to it your aspect impact assessment, then next is your legal and other requirements, certain things are given in legal and other requirements, meaning to it, for example, the legal requirement says that the emission level should be this much, so you can have a tighter control and you can say that out of 100 hours, our emissions should be below this level in 90% of the cases. Then your technological options, your financial, operational and business requirements, then views of your interested parties. And last one is results from your management review. Now friends, I'll be discussing with you for environmental management program. You have to establish your EMP, document the EMP and maintain EMP to achieve your objectives. In your environment management program, you have to define the responsibility and authority for achieving this at the relevant level. Second important thing is means and time scales to be achieved means how you are going to implement this environment management plan and who is going to implement it. If it can be further step down in the steps to implement this management program and for each step you should target the time scale. The third thing is don't forget to review this EMP progress. So many organizations are maintaining the records for environment management plan progress monitoring. So you have to review this at the regular and plan intervals to track the progress as well as to ensure that you are achieving the identified targets with implementation of EMP. And based on some technology upgradation or changes in the organization, you may need to update your environment 
management program also. You can revise it, you can update it. The system is that way dynamic. So while making this environment management program, you have to consider your 5W and 1H. What is this 5W? What? What you are going to make in your EMP? Who is going to implement this EMP? Why you want to implement this EMP? When you are going to complete various steps of this EMP? Where you are going to implement EMP? And how you are going to complete this environment management program?